His name is Moses Malone, number 24 of the Houston Rockets, and he's the leading candidate to be the most valuable player this year in the NBA. Today, it's Moses and Houston against the San Antonio Spurs, featuring number 44, George Gervin, averaging almost 30 points a game. He's the league's leader in scoring. They're on the floor and they're ready to score. The NBA on CBS. Today's show is sponsored by Holiday Inn, who welcomes you to its people-pleasing hotels. The Miller Brewing Company, brewers of Miller High Life. If you've got the time, we've got the beer. And by Chevrolet and Chevrolet dealers coast to coast. From the Convention Center Arena in San Antonio, Texas, it's the San Antonio Spurs and the Houston Rockets. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Brent Musburger, and of all the matchups this year, this is the one that I've been waiting for, Houston and San Antonio. Let me bring in my partner, old six-pack, I'm sorry, six-gun Hundley. All right, Brent, I'm coming down here for the shootout at the Alamo. I've got my cowboy hat and my jalapeno peppers, and I'm ready for this game, the <laughs> championship of the state of Texas. And we got some great names here today. Stop. Calvin Murphy, <laughs> huh? how about that one? Rudy Tomjanovich, Moses Malone. George Gervin and Mr. K. Larry Keenan. Okay, you lay out for about 10 minutes and I'll get back to you. All right, Brent, come on in. <laughs> the biggest name, of course, is Moses Malone. He is enjoying an unbelievable season. 17 rebounds a game. One day on offensive of ball, you know, I studied my players and you know, I watched the flight of their shots. And uh, when I go to the rack, you know, I try to get that uh, defense position for the offensive man to do something to get the rebound. Uh, players like Rudy T, Calvin Murphy, you know, uh, uh, Rudy T, he got some like a straight shot. Murphy got some like a uh, low ash on his shot. So I try to get position, uh, the possibility of trying to get the rebound. And once I establish position, it's just hard for for officer, officer man, a defensive man to move. It. Moses, why are you so much better? In the crowd in San Antonio, one of the largest of the season, and they are trailing only five other teams as far as average attendance is concerned in the NBA. And here they are being introduced, the starting lineup for the Spurs. And of course, the whole team will be out here, Hot Rod, led by Billy Paltz, George Gervin. These are the reserves. They're going to introduce the entire San Antonio team right now. There will be a huge ovation when the starters are finally brought out. Now there's the Houston starters. The little man in the backcourt, Calvin Murphy. Robert Reed will move in to take Gervin into the backcourt. There he is, Moses, number 24. And look at the two forwards. You recognize them, Rudy Tomjanovich and Rick Berry. Four on the road and two at home. And now the Spurs. Starting lineup being brought out. Larry Keenan be matched against Rick Berry. There's Billy Paltz, the center. His task, keep Malone away from the boards as much as possible. And James Silas, great to see him back. And the league's leading scorer, George Gervin, trying to become the first guard to win consecutive scoring titles in the NBA. Doug Moe, the coach of the Spurs, Tom Nasulke, the coach of the Houston Rockets. The team's now getting their final instructions. And they'll be out for the center jump. One of the things that we should stress, Hot Rod, is the fact that these two teams shoot so well that there may not be that many rebounds available. That's for sure. And even looking at free throws, the Spurs as a team actually shoot better than Houston. 80% to Houston, 78. And the Rockets have three of the four top free throw shooters in basketball, Rick Berry, Calvin Murphy, and Mike Newland. And not many rebounds, as you mentioned. That's what makes Moses Malone incredible, averaging 17 and a half, and his team averages about 45 rebounds. So we are set to go. A crowd in excess of 13,000 on hand. Earl Strom is our lead man. Bobby McAllister and Hugh Hollins will work with him today. Malone and Fultz, Houston in the red. So the battle for the championship of Texas is underway, and the Rockets have controlled the tap. Reed, number 50, matched against Gervin. Two six-foot, seven-inch guards. Rick Berry outside, goes to Malone, and he was fouled as he came up. 
turning, and they had moved over to double team him, and Silas connected with the game's first foul. I think offensively, uh, Brent, the San Antonio Spurs obviously like to run and gun and get the shots up quickly, but against Malone, I think you'll see Billy Paltz moving, setting screens more than he normally would. And that, of course, is to block Malone away from picking up cutters, going to the basket uh, in an attempt to block shots. Thursday night, Moses scored 35 points and yanked down 23 boards as the Rockets beat the defending champion Washington Bullets 120 to 110. Pressure in the backcourt. They get it up to Allen Bristol, who is all alone at the right baseline. Barry out at the top of the circle. He's been one of the top assist men. Gives it up now to Reed, but there was a whistle by Hollins outside of the three-second violation. Now it goes over to the Spurs. Silas and Gervin will bring it up now against Murphy and Reed. Bristow gives it right back to James Silas. Calvin goes with him. Silas pull up. Not there, and Paltz. Moses jumped a little too quickly that time, and Paltz was able to control. Shot is missed by Bristow. Barry's got it down as the rebound comes out far. Oh, to Malone. What a pass by Rick. That's a great pass. Went into the air like he's going to shovel it up underhand style on a shot and flipped it up there perfect to Malone. That takes perfect timing for him to drop that shot down. 3-2, Rockets over the Spurs. Silas works the left side this time. Malone will have to be careful because Dilly Paltz is a good outside shooter. This is Larry Keenan, and it was Paltz getting to the glass that time and just couldn't tap it in. Moses pulled that baby down with one hand. Didn't he, though? Barry short. And there's pressure underneath, and Strom's got the foul. Billy Paltz. A moment ago, here's the pass. Rick Barry go into the air, underhand scoop, right up high, and Moses timing it perfectly, laid it down softly. On the Paltz foul, Houston gets it right back, and here is Reed. Looking in over Gervin, puts it down. George came over strong to his right. Taken away by Tom Janovich. So the Spurs should have controlled that defensive rebound. Two men in white there, and they could not. Now it is Bristow. Back for Doug Moe's Spurs. Larry Keenan. Middle is clogged. They work to the outside. Silas glides in and penetrates on the shot. Here's the shot miss and the rebound tipped away. Grabbed by Tom Janovich. He leaned right in a moment ago and laid it back up. A good offensive play by the Houston Rockets. Only the second time these two have met this year. Murphy goes high off the glass with an archer. Houston won the first meeting in the Houston Summit. Billy Paltz, good outside shooter. Well, Billy hit seven straight shots his last game against Seattle. They won here Tuesday night, so he's got a string going. Alan Bristow is sticking closely to Tom Janovich. He wants to come off a Barry screen, but Rick rotates around. Tom Janovich would like to heat up. Rebound to Keenan, who was all alone on that side. Billy Paltz blocked Malone away. He blocked him perfectly, so he couldn't get to the ball, and that made uh, the rebound possible for his team. It's teammate. good, and foul. Gervin to the line. Robert Reed will get the foul on that play. Gervin at 6'7 moves so well. There are only about three guards in the league, uh, Brent, that are th at that height. Reggie Theus, the Chicago outstanding rookie guard. You've got Robert Reed that can swing back. And, of course, Gervin at the line looking for the three-point play. 83 at the line and 55% from the field. Unbelievable to hit 55% from the field, isn't it? The shooting percentage is so much higher in the NBA than they were 10 years ago. Murphy out. Yanked down by Paltz. He's a remarkable young man, Murphy at 5'9". George Gervin's got a son that's bigger than him. Keenan to the right baseline, misfires, and there he is. Calvin at 5'9". A member of the All-Star team, buried to the quick shot. Oh, he missed that one badly. He sure did. Silas to the right. Paltz gets inside a Rick, and the reverse layup is not there. Paltz has missed a couple of layups, somewhat frustrated. Keenan's got it back. Fire, and he's fouled. He's got a chance for a three-pointer. Robert Reed will get the foul again, trying to help out on the play. Barry saved it on the court. That's a really tough play to make. If you don't know where your teammate is, you're going to lose it as he did on this play. And Keenan turned softly, put it in, and Reed got him for the foul. 
Dunleavy has been starting at guard. Reed on the floor because of the matchup against Gervin. It is possible that Barry would get a stint at guard to see what he could do defensively, and Jones would move to forward. Now it's 12-7. The Spurs have taken command here early in the first period. Bad pass. It was lazy, and Keenan. Murphy comes back to help out. And the Rockets sluggish right now. Rick comes to the left side and puts it up on Keenan. Misfires again. He's 0 for 3. Here's Bristow. Rick is back on defense. Bristow waits. Gervin. Yanked down by Malone. Up high. Victor cleared that one nicely. Now they're not getting Malone into the offensive flow either, Hot Rod. That's something they're going to have to do. Definitely. He averages 24 points a game, and as uh, Dell Harris, the assistant coach, uh, made a remark before the game to me, Brent, said we want to go down low to him. He's got the confidence now. He can make those shots. But right now, we have eight minutes left in the first quarter, 14 to 7. San Antonio leading Houston in the Central Division by two games. The Spurs have lost 25 and Houston 26. The Rockets have two games in hand on the Spurs. And here it is, 14-7 San Antonio. Malozzi went up with the shot. It was short. And the Rockets cannot catch fire at the offensive end, and they possess some of the greatest pure shooters in basketball. Silas for San Antonio is off. Moses could not control as the rebound rolled off his hand. Durbin off of Malone's hand out of bounds Spurs. I think Billy Potts probably can uh, play Malone pretty well. He's got that good body, even though he's slow, but he can block him away from the board. Paltz outside, flat shot, and Malone that time with his fourth rebound here and 7.28 to go in the first period. Out is Barry looking in on Keenan. Murphy uses the Malone screen. And Bristow as the Rockets continue to be cold here in the opening minutes. Bounce pass over led Silas on the turnover. It'll be the Rockets. Silas, like most jump shooters, like wanted to pull up on the play, and Bristow anticipated him going all the way and bounced it right out of bounds. Barry pops out. Everything seems to be going through Rick right now. Tom Janovich on a rolling hook. 14-9, San Antonio. Bristow, formerly of Philadelphia, goes one-on-one. -on -one. Elects to give it to Paltz, who put it down. Drove into Malone. No charge, and the basket's good. No harm, no foul. He ran right over him on that play. Calvin Murphy pulls up at the other end. And the Rockets hit their last two shots, Tom Janovich and Murphy. Now it's Gervin, the league's leading scorer, 29.7 going, one-on-one, turning around on Reed, and hitting again. They know each other's moves. Robert Reed lives here in San Antonio, his family, and he and Gervin have played ball against each other for years. And uh, they know one another, I would say, just about as well as any two players in the league. Barry, after three misses, Rick hits that field goal. That's why the great players like Barry will continue to shoot, even though they're missing. They're, sooner or later, they're going to click. And if you leave Rick open out there, he's going to knock him in on him. He had 38 points in the first meeting this year between these two teams. In and glides. Reed with the rebound's got Rick open if he can spot him. Uh, Reed did spot him. He just couldn't get over to him, I think. Maybe he didn't want to spot him. <laughs> <laughs> that never happens, does it, right? So let me take it on in there and get me too. <laughs> well, we got a timeout, Hot Rod. Yeah, things are going good. Let me kick this job in the That's our friend Johnny Paycheck, right? You don't want to really be that. River. Get it on down here in San Antonio. Los Angeles Open at Riviera Country Club. Who you like? I like my man Fuzzy. He can do it. He's going to come back. He's playing well. Played his first round of golf at the age of five. Hot Rod. Hunley here at courtside. See, I mentioned your name early, Rod. <laughs> Barry with a pop pass down to Rudy T. Janovich puts it down. It's the side of the backboard. Gervin sends it back. Silas and Paltz picked off Murphy. Now on the mismatch, Billy Paltz turns around on Calvin and scores it. Good play by the Spurs. That's smart, quick uh, mismatch, and Paltz just turned and put it up. Murphy's only five foot nine. 
So they quickly made the saw the mismatch, went into Paul. She turned on the baseline, hit the jump shot. And little Calvin has the foul. Get a baton and hit him over the head with it. 21 13, Spurs leading the Rockets with 5 17 to go in the first period. Silas sticking with Murphy. Now it's Malone inside. The finger roll is off. Battle for the rebound, knocked out of bounds. And Houston retains it, but hold on. Hollins. There's a good move by Malone. He turned in quickly, but the underhand finger roll just wouldn't go. It wasn't up high enough. Then they battled for the rebound, so now they're going to give the ball back to the Houston Rockets. Houston had started up the floor, set up defense. The ball was given back to them. Inside. Malone sends it back to Murphy from the corner. They exchanged about three times there. That's an unselfish play. And of course, they're double and triple the team in uh, Malone, and he spotted Calvin open. Durbin glides baseline, and the ball came out of his hand. He wanted to slam dunk it, lost control. Knocked away from Barry, who regains it, coming in on Keenan. Bristow's there on defense. Fine play by Alan Bristow. Bristow puts it down now and goes to Silas. Spurs love to run. Bristow's a smart basketball player. I saw him in the finals of uh, the NIT back when he was a senior at Virginia Tech. Played a great tournament. Malone misfires on the turnaround. And the Rockets have not shot well here in the first period. Cross court, they move it to Gervin from the left corner. Here's the play where Rick committed himself. She went in the air. He had nothing to do but throw it back over his shoulder. Bristow picked it off, made a perfect pass to Salas. He'll go right by Murphy for the layup. Spurs Bang, he's got it. lead it by 10. Barry's pass intercepted again, and it's Bristow, the man in the middle, and they come down five on two. The Spurs are back. And the Iceman is making a delivery. George Gervin. Oh, yes, they're up here early in San Antonio. Seattle, I believe, the other team. Indeed, it is Seattle. Houston coming up, trailing 27-15 with 3.40 to go, and Mike Newland, 14, is checked in. Newland, Reed, and Murphy now in there together, along with Malone and Tom Janovich as Barry goes out. Reed to the baseline. Oberding is off with the pass now as both coaches hit the bench. Mike Gale, 12, is in. Here's Gervin. Mike Green, 23, has replaced Billy Falls. Gervin is off, and Green with an offensive rebound is short. Now let's see if young Moses can ignite the Rockets. Moses is playing with a bandaged right hand. And the gentleman with the basketball, Mike Newland, they call him the Shark. He'll burn his knees to go after the ball on the floor. There he is on the penetration. Came inside, Great. and it rolls through. It counts, and Gervin fouled it. That's a great move. He turned his body away from him. I then spun it up with English off the glass and got the roll. So Newman, uh, a fine free throw shooter, he'll look for the three-point play. You see the uh, missed shot? Well, then, well, here's Nolan going right in. There's the reverse off the glass, and he put it right down. Spurs bring it up against Calvin Murphy. It is Gale. Quickly to Oberdang. Like Moses Malone, Oberdang came into the NBA via the hardship. Youngster two, only 24. You got Murphy tattooed that dribble to the floor. He keeps it about two inches off the floor. Tomjanovich misfires, and there's Moses Malone drawing the foul underneath. Should have had the basket there. Uh, Bo has got extremely small hands for a big man. And sometimes he doesn't get real good control. Here's the rebound. His timing is perfect, but as he went back you up, think more those or less hands are away. small? Really? They are. I shook hands with him, and he swallowed me. Let's see his hands. Of course, you were not a basketball player. Oh, I see. Small for a six foot, 11 inch basketball player, right? Thank you. Yeah, okay. that's it. Normally, uh, a guy that they would have maybe another inch on his hands, one of those fingers. That makes a big difference in the control of that ball. <laughs> Here's Kanan. Hands weren't too small that time. God, I can't imagine him. <laughs> it's like a fly swatter when he goes up in the air. Newland is short. 
bounce now to Gale. Spurs try to pressure it up, lead it by nine points. Murphy in the middle had cut off Gale, blocking his call. And here's White Jones, 13, checking into the lineup. Tom Janovich will leave. Jones can play either way. He can go at a forward or back up Malone as a center. So Rudy Tom Janovich, former Michigan All-American, he goes out. Back in 1960, he and Murphy were both drafted by the then San Diego Rockets. It was a great year for college talent. Billy Paltz came out that year. Contact underneath, there's a sky for the rebound. There's a loose ball foul. You had uh, Jeff Petrie, Cowens, Maravich, all those draft picks in 70. Knicks win last night. The end of the first today in Piscataway. The Nets are up by a field goal. Good rivalry there. San Antonio, so tough at home. This year, their average score, 127 to 112. And on the road, Houston's had trouble. They lose by an average count of 117 to 106. San Antonio was favored today. Anywhere from seven to ten points, and I couldn't hardly believe it the way Moses Malone is playing. Everywhere we go, you come up with that yellow-looking sheet. I don't know where you get that thing. You come up with those stats. Those numbers <laughs> that keep falling. <laughs> Gale now goes to the left. Cross court and back to Gale. Keenan, and luckily, Oberding was over there. Oh, it helps to be lucky that time. It was almost a turnover. Dunleavy calls out the play. On the floor from the Sulky now. We've got Reed, Dunleavy, Jones, Newland, and Moses Malone. And Newland passes it off to Dwight Jones, his first shot. Reed puts it back. Houston, cold as an ice cube here in the first period. Yet they're staying aggressive on the boards. And Reed will get a couple of free throws. When the rebound came off, he shot it right back up, which was a smart play. There's Newland on the pass down. Dwight Jones will miss the shot. Here's Reed grabbing it. Put it right back up in contact made by Gervin. Um, Robert Reed will have a couple of free throws. Golden State 28, Washington 22. That's the end of the first. And Louis Dampier checks in. Gervin out. He once hit 57 consecutive free throws in the old ABA. Not a man that you would want to foul. The NBA record, of course, is 60 by Rick Barry. You ever shooting free throws, Brent? Occasionally. <laughs> I was never quite as good as you were, though, Hot Rod. Coming very out of West few, Virginia. Very, very few. Really. By the way, this telecast is going back to West Virginia. I want to say hello to the state of West Virginia. Hello. Yeah, the state says hello back. <laughs> they loved it. All right, Gale gives it up. And Reed was all over Keenan. Ball is out of bounds. Spurs retain possession. 31 to 24 with 117 to go in the first period. Keenan. And Mike Green, 23. Keenan is out. That was Green, 23, who took the shot. Newland in the middle for the Rockets. Dunleavy's high pass knocked out of bounds, and the Spurs are all over the Rockets now at the defensive end. Dunleavy's played pretty well. He's come on and won a starting slot. Uh, he's from South Carolina. He's a hustler. When a half over, you can watch him. He'll run right to the dressing room. I don't know what's in there that's so exciting, but he'll run all the way. <laughs> Newland going with the left hand, and he was fouled by Green, number 23. Oh, Mike showed him the right hand a moment ago, now come back with the left. Nice soft touch like Kareem. And he was fouled on the way. Newland's one of those players who can come in off the bench and ignite a rally. And even though they have here. shot poorly, Hot Rod, they're only back by six inside of a minute. Make it four now at 31-26. Oh, Mike Newland can ignite a rally whether he's on a basketball court or at home. Indeed. <laughs> Oberdang got his man up and then shot it over Malone. Dunleavy penetrating and the foul. Malone was there to receive the pass and Oberding hooked him. Oberding a moment ago got the hoop underneath, faked old Moses, got him in the air. When he came down, up he went and put it in. Oberding has played well. Now there's his daddy with his San Antonio Spurs jacket. He's happy as a lark. He sure is. Oh, 
Joe Moses. 24 points, 17 and a half rebounds a game, and he's 23 years old. And he's going to be a free agent. And look out. He may want to go home. And that's near Washington, where they have a team called the Bullets. There's a few players there, though, that might, you know, object to that. Right. Missed shot, and Malone yanks down the rebound. His mama is undoubtedly watching back home in Virginia. She watched that great game the other night in Landover, Maryland. Lefty Grisell, do you think he would have won a national championship in Maryland if Malone had played there four years? That would have been frightening. He still cries every time he sees Mo play. <laughs> <laughs> and it's Jones to the dunk. One second left in the first period in San Antonio. There's still one left. Yes, indeed. <laughs> no one touched it on that turnover. The sulky point, he tried to get the ball out of bounds under the basket if he could. But it'll go on the side where it went out of bounds right there. Just a tick left. Newland's lob. Malone cuts back, and the first period comes to an end. Good play because, of course, the clock doesn't start until it is touched. And if the alley oop had been on the mark, Moses might have rammed it home. Hot Rod, what do you think? I think it's just wonderful to be here in San Antonio. Three points up. That's bird. San Antonio, 46%. Not like the Rockets, but they're only back by three points. They are right there. Here's Olberday. Again, he gets Malone up in the air and draws the foul. Moses now will have to be careful on that first move by Mark Overdeck. Well, he's six foot nine, 230 pounds, and like Moses, he's got a good body, and down low, you let him have it, he can create trouble. Good fake. Again, he gets Malone to commit himself, and then when he went back up, he was fouled. Mark Overdeck. Who would be a rookie in the NBA if he had elected to stay at Minnesota and finish out his collegiate career? One of those strong forwards that teams are forever looking for in watching the Houston Rockets warm up. You had to look ahead to the playoffs in your mind, and you wonder if they've got enough rebounding skill to help Malone. And other forwards got to get in there with him. That's been their problem. Uh, of course, Rick Barry, as great a player he, as he is, is not uh, a strong rebounder. And they, uh, they lack that help up front. Bristow been hustling all over the floor on defense, sticking with his man there. Now Malone puts it down, comes up. And Mike Green defensively did a good job. Had Malone hesitating in the air. Now it is Gale. Quick pass to Green underneath from the Spurs. Hit two, 36-30. Six-point lead, second period. Dunleavy quarterbacking the Rockets, and he's a take-charge player. You can see that when he comes on the floor. Reed and Malone onto the offensive end. There is his great strength. Oh, look at those big hands. He went right back up and put her in. <laughs> Snapped it right down. Bristow, cross-court pass. San Antonio will use that cross-court pass frequently. Malone is off with a one-hand rebound. And he, so far now, has yanked down 10 rebounds already. Watch that offensive move. This is where he excels. Offensive rebounds. Malone, right there, take it back up and softly put it in. Maybe they don't need any help rebounding. 10 already. <laughs> a Reed threw up a miss. Malone had 11 knocked away from him. And the Spurs come back down now. It is Allen Bristow, number 30. Don Levy Harris is in. Silas for the jump shot. 38-32, a six-point lead by the Spurs over the Rockets. But James Salas, a good basketball player. He had uh, knee surgery, and they thought he may not come back as strong as uh, he was before. One year, he averaged 20 a game. Jones working on Overday. He is short. Whistle underneath, the loose ball call outside, going against the Spurs. It is against Green. He shot Malone right off the floor. What a tough man to stop. Just wears you down, Malone, going to that offensive board. Green out and Paul's in. There's the missed shot by Dwight Jones, and here's where Green will shove. There's Moses going right off the court. Got a little shove in the back from Mike Green. Three fouls on Green, so he'll sit down for Doug Moe. Pass into Jones. Been replaced this year on the Rockets starting lineup. Dunleavy outside. And still the Rockets not hitting a good percentage here. Bristol with a good move, and Silas pulls up at the right baseline. Fultz to the offensive rebound. Oh, Billy just hangs around and picks up the garbage right, right where he has to be. Smart player. 
Rudy Tomjanovich will come back for Tom Nisulke. Up over the top, inspired by Reed, and here's Rudy T. Rudy T lives right next door to Calvin Murphy in Houston, Texas. He told me the property value went down as soon as Calvin moved in. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that Calvin is going to be the Grand Marshal of the St. Patrick's Day Parade? Team Calvin Team Murphy Team with a shamrock. Come Lead on, them down Murphy. Main he can do it. Houston, All right. Texas. <laughs> Outside, it's 40-32. The Spurs are ahead. They work it inside for the shot, and Mark was fouled coming up, and Mark Oberding is playing an impressive game so far. He has been the biggest thorn in the side of the Rockets. Again, the offensive move, and he moved back into Tom Janovich to force the foul. Very smart way to go up, and he'll get two free throws. This would be something if Dallas gets an NBA franchise. Three teams in Texas, they've got a strong chance. They always do things big here in the state of Texas. Why not have three teams? Dunleavy comes up now for the Houston Rockets, swings over to the right side, and Silas takes him. Reed tries to use a Jones screen, comes out alone. Newland slips, battles back up, hits Dunleavy, who hustled back in, and he was picked up, and they missed the shot. The Rockets are simply cold. The ball's just not falling for him here today at all. Overdang feels it, misfires, and Dunleavy's out. It's a 10-point lead by the Spurs, and here's Newland, and the Rockets aren't about to stop. Short again. Malone taking a breather. Long pass off Oberding's hand out of bounds on the turnover. Turnover should be about even right now as Rick Barry checks in. They are. Five turnovers apiece here. 8.34 to go in the first half. What do we got coming up at halftime, I thought? I believe it's uh, Cotton Fitzsimmons with uh, Don Crick. What a job Cotton's done. He uh, is probably going to win the best uh, outstanding coach in the league. He deserves it, in my opinion. There may be other people in consideration, but you would have to say at this moment, Fitzsimmons uh, would be named the coach of the year. Rick Berry, short. Battling for it was Jones. Misses. And the Rockets simply can't put the ball in the basket. It right. has come down to that. They'll come back with a firepower, too, with Murphy and Berry. Silas at the other end. Speaking of firepower, number 44 just winked at us. He's all set. George Gervin always looks like he's about ready to fall asleep until he gets out there on the floor and hits you with 35. Rudy T is blocked by Paltz. No foul. Off come the Spurs. Here's Gale. Rockets back on defense. Gale spins and passes off to Overton. Beautiful move. Beautiful pirouetting move right at the free throw line. That's hard to do. And then spot the man from the right side for the layup. You can stay close just so long when you're not hitting from the field. And the bottom's starting to fall out right now. There's a block by Billy Paltz. Rebounded it. Out on the break. And right, here comes Gale. Turn away from Newland. Well, down the right side. And in for the layup. Doug <laughs> Moe, the coach of the San Antonio Spurs, his team up 46-32, gave him two days off. Put it right on the board in the dressing room. If you want to practice, the balls will be here at 10.30. <laughs> <laughs> Rebound by Moe's Spurs, and they come right back down. And the lack of organized practice didn't hurt him a bit today. Paltz misfires. Up over the top is Keenan with the rebound. Rick Berry now is off to Calvin Murphy. And the Rockets with all that firepower just can't get it going. Murphy throws one up. Yanked down by Paltz, and the lid stays on for the Rockets here in San Antonio. The move inside by Silas and a chance for the three-pointer. Boy, he just bobbed and weaved his way right down the lane. Picked his spot. That's a tremendous move. Down the alley, split two defenders, softly put it on the glass, and a cowhide globe hits home. Hot Rod, there were some who said, as Moses Malone reports back in for Houston, some who said that Silas was the best guard in the ABA until he tore up that knee. Rated by most of the uh, experts of, of the old ABA uh, as such. As I mentioned earlier, he averaged uh, over 20 and did a lot of other things. Missing the free throw, the Rockets come back down. 48-32 on the short end, seven minutes to the half. Murphy penetrates, shoots the gap. Short, Rudy Tomjanovich and Malone collided, trying to put it back in. Two Rockets there, couldn't get it down. George Gervin. Off now to Keenan. And Malone had hustled to the other end and rebound. Now, one of the things about Moses Malone, and one of the reasons why you do not want to discount the Rockets, is that that young man will not quit. Now, I've seen the Rockets play awfully well in the fourth period because of Malone. He just keeps on scrambling. 
frustrated. Now he comes up with a shot and he put it down. Just looking for anything to turn it around. He had 13 rebounds in the fourth quarter against Washington in uh, that road victory for the Rockets. Their last game out. Rockets spurted 17-2 in the fourth in that game, and Larry Keenan turns quickly. The Spurs, however, have played with a great deal of confidence. They have played together. They're ahead of Houston and Central, and they believe they're a better basketball team And talking to the players before the game. They think they match up extremely well. Barry to the right, and Newland comes back to Rick. Rick moving to the left now. Murphy gives it back to Rudy T. Alone for the field goal. They wound the shot clock down that time, and then it was Rudy T. He can power in as he did that time. You give him a little room, and he'll go right to the hoop. Now it's going to depend on some defense by the Rockets. They need a string here before the half ends. Silas on the pull-up. And James Silas has squelched whatever thought the Rockets had of running a number here. Here's Murphy again working that left baseline. Bristow switches off on it. Scramble for the loose ball and a foul for coming up over the top, I believe, that time on Newland. He was trying to tie up the loose ball and Newland draws the foul. He tied up the loose uh, player. Here's Calvin's cross court pass picked off by Gervin. Down they go and here comes Newland right over the top and he says, first down, but I didn't touch him. What do you mean a foul? <laughs> Keenan spins it off with one hand. Bristow pull up. Look at that. There's the Malone one-hander. I still tell you that <laughs> the man a, has small, small hands, hands but right I don't right. know how he does that uh -huh. with one hand. <laughs> They're playing with a small basketball today. Here's Moses. He's moving in on Paul. Short with the shot. Yanked back down by Keenan. Rockets are back three on three. It'll Gervin to the glass. Boy, that's disheartening. You get back on defense, you think you got the fast break stop, and old George just throws up on them loopers for two. Shoots them like most guys do layup. Doesn't he get that spot from the left side off the glass. He'll probably shoot about 40% from mid-court. Blown over his head. Shot clock inside of 10. Barry puts it down on Keenan. Larry stays with him. Paltz jumped over on the double team. I don't think Rick expected it, but the Rockets have got it back. Good defensive move by Paltz. Coming from the weak side over to the ball side. Rick uh, thought he was bumped on his drive in there, complaining to uh, referee Hollins. Alvin shoots the left baseline as the buzzer goes off. Spurs come down 54 to 36. They've erupted here in the first half. Back to George Gervin. Foul on Barry. That's a great jackknife move. He went in for the shot. Barry moved in on him. He pulled it down and then went right back up, and Rick got him for the foul. It's Gervin up in the air, passed quickly right back from Bristow to Gervin going in. Now the second pump. Put it up. Well, that's the reason he leads this league in scoring. He's got all the moves. All right, Mark Olberding is back with George Gervin at the free throw line, and Mike Newlin has replaced Calvin Murphy, who leaves for Tom Nasulke. You know that Calvin Murphy's five foot nine. He wears six pairs of socks when he plays basketball. Pardon me? Six pairs of socks. Basketball socks. Six. I'm telling you, yeah. How'd you like to do his laundry? You <laughs> <laughs> and he's not any taller. He's still five foot nine. Knocked out of bounds by Overding. Boy, Mark Overding's been all over the floor. The Spurs have done everything right so far in the first half, and the Rockets haven't done a thing right. Biggest problem is they just can't shoot it. They've had the shots and the ball's not fouling. Newland, high arch. Rotten rain. 3.40 to go, first half in San Antonio. Moses yells out a defensive signal, knocked away by Newland out of bounds. Everybody helping Earl officiate. <laughs> George Carl, assistant coach. Those guys get more advice than anybody in the world, don't they, right? They get it all. No NBA players ever committed a foul. Get your head out. Let's play ball, turkey. Come on, you turkey. <laughs> Who's he yelling at? Us? <laughs> I think he was yelling at us. <laughs> Where's that coming from? Keenan comes up now. Goes down another two, and the Spurs have looked magnificent in the first half. Never heard of a turkey in San Antonio. I don't know. Here's Dunleavy back to Rudy T. 
Newland goes for two for two. Those chili bumps are awful quiet right now, even though they're up by 18. They like it when it's close and hot and furious. Maybe will get there before this one's over. All right, Durbin now goes to the left side. High Archer off the top, batted back, and it's Dunleavy. Left side's Malone. Malone comes up. Oberding stays with him, and oh. Moses goes to the glass. That's some move for Malone. Quick, and he keyed the play at the other end. He tipped that rebound out. And it amazes me, with all that gold around his neck, he has to hustle to keep his head up. We are back in San Antonio, and uh, Hot Rod, a couple of real estate brokers have called. Uh, you want to take me off the hook? Well, I want you to know that Calvin Murphy uh, lives next door to Rudy Tomjanovich. They are the best of friends, roommates on the road, travel together, live beside each other twice. And I made a statement that I really I didn't mean anything by. I have to property value it going down, and Rudy made that statement. He and Calvin exchanged all kinds of remarks like that. And I apologize. <laughs> Gale to the right. Picked up by Dunleavy. Gale calls it out. We've got two minutes and 15 seconds to go. Pass to Gervin. High Archer off the glass. Yanked down by Malone. Now he's off to Dunleavy. 58 to 42. San Antonio has dominated Houston in the first half. Barry throws it back, and Rudy T missed the layup coming in. Newland off the rick. He's short. Defensive man all over him, and it is Gervin. Rolls in the layup through the foul coming in on Dunleavy. Chance for a three-point play. Boy, he picked his way again. Just waited for the right time to take it to him. Dunleavy, the only man back right here, just slowly take it up over him. At 6-7, Dunleavy 6-2, but he got the layup. Sixty-one, forty-two, with a minute fifty to go in the first half. Newland knocked away from Dunleavy and out of bounds. Up into the crowd. Good old Doug up there coaching away. Oh, he really is, isn't he? He's doing a great job. The secret is keeping everybody happy and working as a unit. They're doing it. Dunleavy sends it back to Newland. Moses Malone with his 14th rebound here in the first half. He went to the rack. Well, he's done his job. If the Rockets could have shot a good percentage, they'd be right there. Irvin gets inside Newland. Barry jumped out and the shot popped out. And it'll go to the Rockets. The crowd thought that Rudy T had touched it last. 61 44 to minute 13. Lone looks in on Pulse. Billy tries to deny him the baseline. Misfire. Oberding off the Gale. Four on two, the Spurs get it going. And the foul called as they came inside. Dunleavy crashes to the floor for the Rockets. Get up, son. <laughs> what else can I do? <laughs> Took the ball right in over him, crash into uh, Dunleavy. Down he went, but he's charged for the block and foul. You had, must establish that position first in order to draw the charge. Uh, Mr. Gale had him beaten on the play. I tell you, that one very loud San Antonio fan wearing a hat and a vest right <laughs> behind our camera and close to that microphone was yelling, let me tell you how good you used to be. Somebody should tell him how good he's going to be. He's only 24. Stolen by Keenan coming down for the Spurs, indicative of how play has gone. There he is. That's the voice of San Antonio. Give Look him some him. jalapeno peppers. That'll cool him Look down. Look at he's got an NBA guide. He studies those stats. <laughs> Dunleavy from the right corner rolls back out. The last shot time. Mo signals it out. They'll wind that clock back down. Gervin holds it up now. Shot clock and the game clock are not quite synced up. 13, 12, 11. Shot clock go down to about six. About two seconds apart. Irvin couldn't wait. Off four seconds. Rick will have to hurry. Three seconds. Newland will throw it up at midcourt. 
Oh, hello, Mooch Quinnell. It sure did. You know, that was almost okay. interference down there by Paltz. You know that? Coming up on that Look. shot. The ball hit the front of the rim. And the Rockets file off. And it going wild in San Antonio. Whoop it up. But best they not celebrate too early. 65-44. Awful lot of firepower, been awfully, awfully quiet over here for the Rockets. But the Spurs have played like division champions here in the first half. I believe he would float if he went in water with that vest. That's, that's one of our <laughs> friends. Here it is. Look at my man. Keenan, go to that hoop. Make it up nice and soft. Now jam it all down. We'll be right back. Who is 5 of 11. And you see what the Rockets did. 29% from the field. Barry was 1 of 6. Tom Janovic was three of nine. Murphy was three of nine. Reed was zip for six. Newland off the bench, three of seven. Jones, one of three. Dunleavy, 0 of three. And Hot Rod, I was very impressed with Mark Overding's line down there for San Antonio. Mark Overding had four out of five from the field. He played 12 minutes, had three for four at the free throw line, three rebounds, one assist, 11 points. And as you mentioned, the Rockets as a team, Brent, only 16 out of 54 shots, 29%. You're not going to win many games with that line. Indeed, and you can't ask for any more than Malone gave you. 16 boards, 15 points, and the Spurs have got possession as we start the third period. The Spurs are up by 21 points. So the Rockets will have to apply some defensive pressure and certainly light a fire at the offensive end. Here now is George Gervin swinging inside and rolling it in, and it goes now to 23. Rockets come back with their first possession, second half. Here's Robert Reed, matched against George Gervin. 6-7 against 6-7. Good fake. Missed the shot, and there's the man. Moses Malone carrying him, stays with it underneath. Then the foul is called. He got himself two rebounds on that play. That's that second, third effort that'll pay off for you. As Moses missed the first shot, he leaned in. Now quickly he goes right back up. Slaps it, now grabs it. And then draws the foul from Green. So Malone will get two free throws. Free throws are going to be critical here in the second half for the Rockets now, too. When you're coming off the floor on the road, you can't afford many misses at that free throw line. One of two that trip. Spurs come back down, and quickly they put it up to Bristow from Keenan. Spurs are going to try to keep the pressure on. Rimmed in and out. Rudy T now is off to Calvin Murphy. The Rockets were able to get the running game going against the Bullets Thursday night in Landover. So far, the Spurs have gotten back on defense. Murphy glides inside high. Archer still a miss. Rick Berry battles for the loose ball, picked up by Gervin on the fly. Pass back to Gervin from Bristow. Well, they can look easy. Well, the Rockets, one thing they're not doing at all is getting back on the fast break. They're very vulnerable to it, and they're just running them right out now. The Spurs on the move. So the San Antonio Spurs eye on a possible NBA championship. Came in here determined to prove that they are the best of the Central Division. Lob pass now to Malone. Malone coming in. Foul called. Mike Green is in there working against Moses Malone. The foul was against Bristow. A good move again by Malone. The ball more or less slipped out of his hands before he went up for the shot. Bristow reaching in to help Green got the foul. So Malone will have a couple of free throws. So it's going to be Malone at that free throw line in the second half. They're going to work the ball into him down low. The trend has been established. And Rick Barry saying that in the fourth period, Moses Malone is a deadly free throw shooter when his concentration is really on. Now here in the second half, he's missed two of his first four. Silas works the weave to the right. Mike Green puts it down. Green opened at center two years ago for the Spurs, and the shot's put up and in by Alan Bristow. Jack McMahon of the 76ers always said that Alan Bristow was going to be a fine talent. There was too much talent on the 76ers to keep him. That's how the Spurs got their hands on him. They got him work on the D on Tom Janovich. Tap back, not there. And the Rockets again miss a couple of opportunities. Bristow in the middle pulls up on Barry. Take down by Calvin Murphy. And our way to hit that board, Calvin. Stretch that five foot nine frame. 5-9 goes up with a shot, and there was a foul as he put it up outside. It's against Big George, who says, who, me? I can't believe it. And Doug Moe can't either. He says, how can you call it on Gervin? He wasn't close to the man. Got a timeout in San Antonio, 71-46. 
Green will inbound it with 9.48 to go. So far, we've got how many rebounds from Malone? 18. The high for the year, 37. He turned that in against New Orleans. Irvin foul coming up on Rudy Tomjanovich. Rudy says, who, me? Most of these NBA players uh, will lean in to draw a foul. That's exactly what happened. Gervin, one of the best at that particular move. Well, this will be the first time uh, that he continues to lead the league in scoring that the player's done it back to back in a guard position, first ever. And it'll be three straight years the league was led in scoring, I believe, by Brian. Maravich did it before uh, Gervin a few years ago. Tiny Archibald won a scoring title not long ago either. Malone goes back to Reed. Jump pass inside. Pretty play. Rudy T underneath. Keenan goes to Gervin. The Iceman rolls one out, and it's Calvin Murphy now as the Rockets try to get a string going. I wonder if Ice Cube and Icicle are here at the game. This is too children, right? <laughs> Rudy T, two in a row for the Rockets. Trying to mount a surge. They come back now on defense. Keenan, Green, Silas, Gervin, and Bristow on the attack for Doug Moe. They have been in command. Keenan works the left baseline, comes up. Foul called. Put your hands down, Rudy. He's already called that foul. That's three on Rudy. Swing to the right, and here's Gervin. Goes back to George. Those two guys work well together, and they're both great scorers. That's Gervin and uh, Barry Keenan. Feed the ball right back and forth. Rudy T, and it's three in a row now. He was the second player drafted out of college in 1970. Bob Lanier went first to Detroit, and then Tom Janovich to the Rockets. Gives it back to Malone. Malone was off balance that time, and here's Larry Keenan on the fly to Gervin. Gets it right back. Comes to his spot. Missed shot, and then foul Rudy Tomjanovich in the backcourt. And it's going to be a loose ball foul. No control. There's a rebound play. Grabbed down by Tomjanovich, and Keenan right over his back for the foul. No control, so it's a loose ball foul. Houston ball. Go to the rack, big guy. It back. Green was there, and the crowd not agreeing with the foul call against Mike. That's four on Green, and Fultz will come in, make it five. Moses just going to the rack as he calls that offensive basket. Bacon taking it back into him, turn, and then roll right into the basket. Jack Knight try to get the foul. Got a great article on him at Sports Illustrated, written by Frank DeFord, and his face graces the cover of Sports Illustrated. Malone and not Green, right? Moses Malone. <laughs> <laughs> Incidentally, that was Frank DeFord's second best article he's ever written. <laughs> the best one was on Hot Rod Hundley, right? Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> nice plug for Frank DeFord. That's all. Uh, Spurs come down now, 75-56, 7.39 to go in the third. Gervin cut off by Reed. Barry jumps back in the double team. Now he goes back on Bristo. Barry picked off by Paltz. Gervin couldn't put it away. He was wide open that time. Alvin Murphy looks up the floor now for the Rockets. Comes over to the right side. Goes back to Barry. They move it to Rudy T. High arch, didn't get it to bounce, and Keenan comes off on the move for the Spurs. Rockets are back, it's Bristow in the corner. Deflected by it. Calvin, you got it out, Rod? I got it, right here. Still got the nice good brand. hands, huh? Nice, nice grab. Good catch. I thought so. Back now to Bristow. Barry is right there. Whacking him away. <laughs> And that time, Gervin covered by Rudy T, put it in. Wide open last trip and missed it. Prefers to have a hand in his face. 77-56 and 648. 
Mike Newlin will be coming in for the Rockets. Here's Malone. Boy, he powered that one. He ducked that shoulder down when he turned back, and he got an extra lift as he went up for the layup. 6'10", 235. Irvin double team sent it back to Bristow. I didn't know left-handers could shoot that well. Reed swings in. 79-60. The Rockets have shot much better this period. Robert Reed's daddy is a season ticket holder to the San Antonio Spurs games. Figure that one out. Right? Irvin. But the Spurs are not cooling off. Irvin last year in his final game of the NBA season scored 53 points in the first half against New Orleans. Finished for 63. Malone moving a little too quickly that time and the loose ball foul underneath. Reed just missed the lay layup coming through. Now Gervin says, I didn't commit any foul. Down the lane goes Reed, throw it up on a run. And apparently it was banged as he went after that loose ball. So Got a Gervin, timeout. So that's a foul right there. Now Gervin's turning right there to tell the referee, no, no, don't call it on me, I didn't touch it. Fabulous to see Rudy T playing basketball again this year after that unfortunate incident of a year ago. I'm having a great year, maybe all-star team. It really is. So Moses Malone and Rudy T and Calvin Murphy trying to come back, but the Spurs have looked terrific. Larry Keenan. Taken down by Reed on the fly. And the Spurs are back on defense. They set up quickly. Murphy. Go inside to Malone, goes back to the corner, and Newland. Back down again by the Spurs, it's Silas. Holtz. Great pass, Mike Gale just rifled it through traffic. And Billy Paltz, there for the easy layup. Newland, Murphy, Tom Janovich, Malone, and Reed. On the floor for the Sulky. Silas, Bristow, Holtz, Keenan, and Gale, and Malone for two. Look at this pass from Mike Gale, perfect to Paltz a moment ago, right there for that little reverse layup. Weave Gale to the right. Bristow went back to Paltz, who was rolling off the screen, and Reed battered it out. Jones, number 13, reports in. Gotta get it in, five seconds. Silas. Look at this, got it. Oh, an offensive foul. Give it to him, Earl. Offensive foul, Silas. And Doug Moe does not like that. Little Calvin. Uh, had braced himself, and Salas ran right into him. So you judge for yourself. Salas, lean it in. I thought the foul would have been on Murphy. Really. And Murphy comes through at the other end. The field goal, Mo is still up screaming. We're going to have a timeout. <laughs> 83 to 66. They want to fight that momentum that they've got going. San Antonio, 83, Houston, 66. Nothing better in the world than a dad taking his son to a ball game, getting him a little popcorn, spending a day with him. All right, the Spurs come back. And Houston trying to mount a rally here in the third period in San Antonio. I'm going to go get you some popcorn. Get me some, please. Holtz gives it right on back, a pretty pass, and foul coming through was Gale. And it's goaltending. it up for the goaltending. You gotta go to that rack clean. They should have did it that time. <laughs> they set that play up in the timeout, didn't they? Reed. Silas battling, and Calvin Murphy's got it back for Houston. 85 68. 330 in the third. Gale and Silas. 
working together as George Gervin gets an extended rest. And they expected Pulse to go back. He came out towards the ball, and on the turnover, it'll go to the Rockets. Murphy wanted Reed to look back at him. He was perplexed when he didn't. He went on through the hole. Now it's Jones. Jones gives it up, and on the turnover, it's Allen Bristol on the left-handed dribble. Inside now to Paltz. Looks like Big Will. Chamberlain used to excel at that shot. The old fingertip roll. Just let it roll right off the palm of your hand and down into the hoop. Of course, he only scored 30,000 points in his career. Most people counted theirs. He weighed his. And it's going over to San Antonio on the turnover. Get it to him, my man. I think that guy likes a camera time. We'll have to, have to talk with him. Bristow. Silas. Back and in. Spins on Calvin. Yanked out by Jones. And here's Newland for the Rockets. The Spurs are back. There'll be no easy route to the basket that time. Blocking foul is called on Mike Gale. That's an unhappy foul here. And Doug Moe, hands on his hip, looks things over. Gale trying to set up, but as Newland reversed right to left, right there he bumped him. That's a good call. He had not established his position. Look at the lights shining here in the old hemisphere as Houston Rocket Slicker Watts makes his way in. Double zero. Headband on Slicker. That light out of my eye. Murphy goes back out, and Mark Oberdick who played well in the first half for Doug Moe, has checked back in. Theo Slick can make things happen. Not a real good shooter, but he penetrates, and he can pick a ball club up, and this is kind of a situation that he's best in. Keenan comes across, comes up over Jones, through the foul, Pop that shot, he'll come to the free throw line. Oh, by that man right there, Jones. So it is Larry Keenan, a member of the Eastern Conference All-Star team this year. Played at the Silver Dome in Detroit, coming to the free throw line. He just very quietly kills you every game. <laughs> That's a quiet 14 for Keenan. Just goes about his job. He helps their break a lot when he comes down on the move. He can run for a forward. And here's Watts. Go to Slicker Man. He's the most recognized player in the NBA. Slick Watts. Newland puts it up left-handed, and there's a loose ball foul underneath as they collide going out after it. And you can tell by the crowd who it's against. Oh, Doug is really getting hot here in the third quarter. That'll send Newland to the free throw line, and Moe still up. Is he dancing or is he complaining? <laughs> Whistle is blown. They don't want Newland on the free throw line. They said they want Dwight Jones up there. I bet you that's the call. They're all pointing, because uh, Newland's a great free throw shooter. That's it. Bring Jonesy up here. Dwight Jones, 72% on free throws compared to Newland's 88. So that's a pretty smart move by Coach Doug Buff. Except that he made it. <laughs> Got to give Newland an A for some effort and a little gamesmanship. Then it doesn't matter as Jones cans two of them. 89 to 72 and two minutes to go in the third period in San Antonio. Oberding dumps it to Keenan on the turnaround. <laughs> Dampier matched against Slick. Oberding got a hand on it. Jones retrieved. Here's Newland, blocked by Paltz. Run down by Keenan. Gale rotates, gives it to Dampier. Back to Paltz. One thing that makes San Antonio so tough is that players like Larry Keenan and George Gervin, even though they're big, they can get the ball down on a rebound dribble and get the fast break that much quicker. That's why they put so many points on the board. They often 
threw the ball down for Jones loses it out of bounds. Going for the shot here. Offensive foul. You see their eyes light up when they get that one-on-one -on -one situation, right. NBA players. 87-80, Washington ahead of Golden State in the fourth in the Landover. Oh, just threw it up. <laughs> no whistle. Come on and play. Louie. My man's just getting up there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Oberdick says, let me out of here. Listen to the crowd and guess who's ahead in San Antonio. Well, the fans moving it up, and rightfully so. They've added seats here that uh, enable them to get about 16,000 for capacity here in San Antonio. What a success story, not only in San Antonio, but in Houston as well. Malone with 21 points and 20 rebounds. And next week on CBS, we'll have an NBA doubleheader for you. The national game, Denver. I want to go. Let's go. Against the Lakers and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. The regional games first. Philadelphia against Phoenix and Houston and Seattle. Denver, of course, uh, David Thompson. He can do things in a hurry. Last year in his last game, he scored 73 against Detroit. <laughs> and that forced Gervin to score 63. To respond. Later. He did indeed. <laughs> and that'll be coming up next. We'll see if Lon Henkel. Lanny Watkins, who'd you pick? Fuzzy Zeller. He was in fifth place the last time we checked. That's a beautiful golf course over here. They got a sand trap in the middle of one green in a par three hole. I shot 128 out there. Those guys over there drink nothing but milk, right? <laughs> Down here at San Antonio. There's the uh, leader of the baseline bums. <laughs> They're taking him over to Germany. <laughs> Somebody told me the service is transferring him. All right, let's get on down and kick a little. Clap your hands and stomp your feet. Come on, Spurs. You're going to put Houston down in defeat. <laughs> Back it goes, and nothing going right for the Rockets. Louis Dampier, he looks real Western, doesn't he? He, he sure right does. Got it back. Slick trying to get it away. Jumps out on Gale. Spurs kind of standing around now, Hot Rod, with that big lead kind of coasting. Louis, in and out, and it's Reed at the end of the third period. Well, it'll take a little defense and a whole lot of shooting to get the Rockets back in this one. They're going to have to hurt. Spurs are tough, aren't they? They yeah, play yeah. great. They're on, the, on that bench. I was going to say, <laughs> it's not too easy over there. Folks, they the glass. And of course, at the end of the game, we'll have our MVP award. Last week, Elvin Hayes got a third of them <laughs> for the votes. We ganged up on you. Gave it to CJ. Rudy T's open. Colts hammered it. <laughs> I think that was a correct adjective to use in the description of this play. Hot Here's Tom Jonovan. Hot Rod, that's a first. Hot, right, thank you. <laughs> well, what do you want? I told you I was from West Virginia. I knew. <laughs> you knew. <laughs> Here's Rudy T. Once he got inside, uh, there was no way to stop him, but actually that's a good foul. Even if he makes them both, you force him to go to the line. Don't give him a layup. Look at Paul's getting shoved around on that. That's the best-selling T-shirt in San Antonio this afternoon. And for the Battle of Texas, the Spurs have dominated it. Gale goes back to Paul, who hands Dampier to Bristow. Oberding's the only one who hasn't handled the ball this trip. Shot missed. Here's the slicker man. All he needs a few gold chains out there. That outfit would be complete. Jones, short, knocked back in as Robert Reed.
batted it out of Paltz's hand. Gale fouled, and it's on Jones. Lamjanovich uh, trying to get his defensive alignment square with Jones. Jersey leading the Knicks, 92-83. That's in the third. Denver ahead of Philly, 90-85. Also, at the end of three, Paul to shot is off. Loose ball underneath, and it's going to go to the Rockets. It's on Bristow. And here he is. Here comes Mr. Outside. Looks like he's wide awake. George Gervin, he's really excited. <laughs> now, here is what George does, though, in his spare time. Works with youngsters in the San Antonio area. One of the most respected athletes in the NBA. Gives a lot of time to children. Newland's off, yanked down by Dampier. Puts it on the floor for the Spurs and hits Bristow on the fly. Dampier. I, I know you were rich. <laughs> <laughs> From now on, it's Louis. Here's George Gervin. And hey, this Robert Reed has gone to work here. They go to Newland inside. The shot is missed. Paltz is off quickly now to Louis. Here's <laughs> Overdig. Center to the left and Bristow. Bristow misfires. And again, it is Reed with another rebound for the Rockets. 9 29, 97 78. A lot of highway for the Rockets to travel yet. And Rudy T hits two. Well, he squeezed that one out right in traffic. Just go right in and bank it in. And the Rockets. Down by 17. Paltz is open. That will bring Moses Malone. There he is, right in front of him. Just threw his cape off. Coming to the rescue. Reed. One shot. And it is Gervin, the finger roll. Loose ball foul underneath again. And Earl Strom warning Bristow to be careful or he'll get a technical. This doesn't want him to referees. He's let me make the call. <laughs> and he called it on Jones, not against Alan Bristow. And still uh, John with him. So Jones will come out. Moses Malone back in. And Bristow has gone out. Oberding is out there, too. Keenan. <laughs> 101 to 80. And 824. There's Malone's alone. They'll get it this one. Billy Paul stumbled when he came out to pick him up. Fell off balance. Now left Malone wide open. Mike Newland is taking George Gervin. Keenan wants it again, and as he went up, Reed fouled him, and it's good. Things are bouncing Keenan's way. San Antonio Spurs can do no, nothing wrong. There's the old slicker drop pass down to Malone. There's where Paltz went right by him. It's a moment to go, and that's the easiest way to go to the basket. Slam it down. Malone went to the rack. Right on, take it in there, bury it down. Keenan with 22-point average. 19 big ones today. Into Malone low on the turn against Paltz. Wow. He makes that turn so quick. Well, it's impossible to stop him at his height and weight. <laughs> Paltz fouled by Malone. He has Malone up in the third row with a fake. There's that move offensively. A fake right, turn back to his left, then softly took the shot up. Real good move. Calvin Murphy returns for Nisaki. Holtz at the free throw line. We had the old roast last week with Calvin Murphy down in Houston. Rick Barry back in. You're going to tell us again about property values, or are you going to let that one just no, kind of sit no. there? No, Calvin, I'm not touching any of line. <laughs> Newland goes across to Rick Barry, gives it to Murphy, back to Barry. You should have been at the Rose thing. Gervin. 
leads the Spurs, goes off now to Keenan, knocked away, and here is Murphy for the Rockets. Billy Paltz awaits him, dishes now to Malone, gliding inside, and oh, did he travel? Oh, <laughs> no, no, there was no whistle. There were 200 fans jumped up, gave them an old circling of the fist move, indicating traveling, no call made. Keenan comes inside, short, Paltz foul. That'll be Tom Janovich. That is 29 points for Malone, and he's been stuck on 20 rebounds for some time. No emotion from either of the coaches here. And he's got a remarkable uh, disposition, attitude for this game Malone. And at such a young age, 23, been around this pro game for some four or five years. And he's a likable youngster by, by the players that he's playing with and against. I'll tell you, he's also coming out of his shell. You, I think you sometimes right. forget he was very young. Like last night, we were sitting in the lobby, and he came over and said hello and introduced himself to some of the CBS crew. He's, he's really making an effort, and he's gotten an awful lot of attention. I saw him play against Abdul Jabbar in Los Angeles recently, and he really outplayed Kareem. Rudy T is short. And I am so impressed with the way the Spurs have kept it going here. Back to Silas. They were not intimidated by the arrival of Moses Malone and friends here this afternoon. Murphy hits two outside. 105, 88, 632, time for a run. That's a great move by a player that's 5'9". If you're small like that, that little stutter step move that Calvin just showed you, then pull up, get that jump shot. Paltz inside the flash. You cannot give Billy Paltz that shot. You must contest him there. He loves it down here in San Antonio, but he likes it around New York, too, where he played college ball. You got a couple of restaurants, a disco. He's doing it all. It's, uh, <laughs> here's Barry. The Rockets are warming up, and the question is whether or not it's too late. Keenan went to Gerben alone. Got past Mike Newland. Here's Barry trying to stop on the play, and his man passed in, and Gervin all alone. As Newland uh, let him get away. Rudy T stayed with it. It was a three-second violation as he attempted to pick up the loose ball. So we're going to have a timeout. And before that, you see L.A. That's when he was disguised as Lou Alcindo. Overding shot is off. Taken down by Newland. Leap pass now to Calvin Murphy. Murphy's shot. And Overding is rebounding. Foul by Tom Jonovic. Locked him away from the board properly. Came down with the ball. Good move. Here's a little stutter step move by Calvin. He'll pull up with a jump shot. There's the blocking out. Got him over the back as Overding comes down with the ball. We're in the penalty. With five minutes and nine seconds left in the game, so a couple of free throws for Mark Overding. He has he played is. well. Yes, he has. In fact, I am getting close to swinging his way for my most valuable player. Award. Which means the producer will have to cast <laughs> a vote. I want to know how you have the authority to cast a vote. Where did you play? You play in the NBA? Listen, do you ever hear a two-dot Montana? You're big there, huh? Absolutely. Average 6.5 a game. Cross court to Rick Barry. What was your basketball average? <laughs> <laughs> Take it down. <laughs> Lobs to the Iceman, and it's fallen for San Antonio. The Spurs are lighting him up, and the Battle of Texas has been one-sided. The Rockets have not put a dent in the Alamo. Moses rolls one in. That is 31 points for Moses Malone. You can't blame him for what's gone wrong here. Durbin. I'd say he's got a pretty good touch. 32 for the Iceman. Here comes somebody we haven't seen. Kobe Dietrich will be checking in soon. Glenn Mosley. We're going to get to see Mosley, Dietrich, and Gale. And here comes my friend Louis D. Or is Doug Moe wrapping it up? He probably head to the golf course and leave early on me down there. There they are. 
the Iceman poster, the San, yes indeedy, the San Antonio Spurs, 114 to 92. Two more games between these two teams. That's good scheduling. Battling for the Central Division Championship, Rudy T. Rudy hasn't used the glass much today. He normally banks his shots, even from that distance. But he has an unbelievable touch on bank shots. It's interesting how, right, you know, this game is indicative of one afternoon, and the next two times that these two teams meet, it could go. Barry. What was your basketball average? <laughs> <laughs> Take it down. <laughs> Lobs to the Iceman, and it's fallen for San Antonio. The Spurs are lighting them up, and the Battle of Texas has been one-sided. The Rockets have not put a dent in the Alamo. Moses rolls one in. That is 31 points for Moses Malone. You can't blame him for what's gone wrong here. Durbin. I'll tell you, he's got a pretty good touch. 32 for the Iceman. Here comes somebody we haven't seen. Kobe Dietrich will be checking in soon. Glenn Mosley. We're going to get to see Mosley, Dietrich, and Gale. And here comes my friend Louis D. Of course, Doug Moe wrapping it up. He probably head to the golf course and leave early on me down there. There they are, the Iceman poster, the San... Yes, indeedy, the San Antonio Spurs, 114-92. to 92. Two more games between these two teams. That's good scheduling. Battling for the Central Division Championship. Rudy T. Rudy hasn't used the glass much today. He normally banks his shots, even from that distance. But he has an unbelievable touch on bank shots. It's interesting how, right, you know, this game is indicative of one afternoon, and the next two times that these two teams meet, it could go exactly the other way, Mosley. Barry's got the open man. It's Murphy to the left hand. Newland underneath stays with it. Put it down. And Mo says uh, he didn't travel, did he? That's what I was to say. A lot of the fans thought he did, but he went in there and then came back down and dribbled right. it. Mike Green is wide open and free flowing right now. Court to Rick Barry. What was your basketball average? <laughs> <laughs> Take it down. <laughs> Lobs to the Iceman. It's fallen for San Antonio. The Spurs are lighting them up, and the Battle of Texas has been one-sided. The Rockets have not put a dent in the Alamo. Moses rolls one in. That is 31 points for Moses Malone. You can't blame him for what's gone wrong here. Durbin. I'll tell you, he's got a pretty good touch. 32 for the Iceman. Here comes somebody we haven't seen. Kobe Dietrich will be checking in soon. Glenn Mosley. We're going to get to see Mosley, Dietrich, and Gale. And here comes my friend Louis D. Of course, Doug Moe wrapping it up. He probably head to the golf course and leave early on me down there. There they are, the Iceman poster, the San... Yes, indeedy, the San Antonio Spurs, 114-92. to 92. Two more games between these two teams. That's good scheduling. Battling for the Central Division Championship, Rudy T. Rudy hasn't used the glass much today. He normally banks his shots, even from that distance. But he has an unbelievable touch on bank shots. It's interesting how, right, you know, this game is indicative of one afternoon, and the next two times that these two teams meet, it could go exactly the other way, mostly. There he's got the open man. It's Murphy to the left hand. Newland underneath stays with it. Put it down. And Mo says uh, he didn't travel, did he? That's what I was to say. A lot of the fans thought he did, but he went in there and then came back down and right. dribbled it. Mike Green. He's wide open and free flowing right now. Go to the rack. That one blocked. He did, and he stuck with him that time, and finally Green fouled him. All right, I mentioned 
Moses Malone, and you watch here Green stick with him the first time, and then the second time, come on back. But I mentioned Moses against Kareem. In 50 minutes against Kareem, it was an overtime game that night. He had 16 for 23 for the floor. He had 34 points, 25 rebounds, 11 of them offensive, which was two more than the entire Laker team. I think that is the single best basketball game that I have seen this year, where both teams played well from beginning to end, and they did what they had to do. Now here this afternoon, the Rockets just have not been themselves. They just have not played good basketball. Basically, because they haven't shot well. Well, that percentage in the first half, that's where the Rockets were out of it. 29%, they made only 16 of 54 tries. Now here's young Mosley, 34, and Gale. Dietrich puts one at the baseline. Sometimes in these blowouts, general managers will spot a player they like and they'll make a trade down the road. These are important to these players who pick up a few minutes playing time right now. Malone runs it down, flips it back to Calvin. Murphy throws it up right there. That's off the wrong foot. Talk about a delicate touch. Shooting on the run, jumping off your right foot and shooting with the right hand, a little Calvin. Your man Elvin Hayes mailed in 31 this afternoon. 99-89, Washington over Golden State. You want to vote for him as MVP in that game? He probably deserves it. He only had 33 last week when you double teamed him. <laughs> Dive out, San Antonio. Command of the Rockets, and folks, I can't believe it. About an hour and a half ago, Hot Rod Hundley picked Kermit Sarley to win the Los Angeles Open. He has stormed into the lead at eight under. We'll be going to the Riviera at the end of this <laughs> NBA basketball game. Jimmy the Greek, you've been replaced by Hot Rod the Wizard. The only reason I picked Kermit Sarley is because Jerry West had a day off. Where is Greek? <laughs> I haven't seen him lately. He's hanging out down in Miami, I guess. Well, there's Jackie Dorsey. 44 out of Georgia. First look at him. Calvin hits it. 17, 102, 215. Billy Paltz. Shot is off by Dampier. Put back up by Gale. And at the glass, it was Mosley. Right on the spot. Well, these kids like Mosley uh, don't get much of a chance to play, but when it does come, they'll go in there and fire them up. If they hold on, and certainly we've seen no evidence to the contrary, San Antonio will push its record to 37 and 25. Three up on Houston. The Rockets will fall to 33 and 27. And remember, two more games between these teams. One in Houston and one right back here. Jackie Dorsey's in there for Houston. He's a young player from Georgia. Malone, give it up on the turnover. Up here to the basket. Intercepted by Dietrich. Give it on back to Gale. Louis didn't want to shoot at that time. Dietrich is off, and here comes Newland. Calvin Murphy on the turnaround. As soon as Dampier went down, he slipped down on the defense. Calvin said, just immediately his eyes lit up. He said, I've got me a shot, and he turned and hit it. Who do you want as your MVP this afternoon, Mr. Hundley? Elvin Hayes. I know <laughs> where he's in Washington. I'll, I'll go with, uh, I'm uh, thinking more like Billy Pulse. I know you like Gervin. Hello. Hello. What is you? <laughs> I haven't said a word, Hot Rod. I'm waiting I for you know. to vote. I'm voting for Billy Pulse. You're going to vote for Billy Pulse. He has Pulse. 22 points, and he's done all he can, and he's had to work all day against Moses Malone. And that's a tough job on a Sunday afternoon. Okay, you go for Billy Pulse as the most valuable player. I will go for Larry Keenan of the San Antonio Spurs as Where are the you, most Barry? valuable player, which means that our producer, Perry Smith, will decide whether our scholarship money is going to go to St. John's or Memphis State. I think he just left the truck. <laughs> Yay, Billy Paul. Oh, That's they right. have sided with Hot Rod Hundley. There will be mutiny on this crew. <laughs> Dorsey. I am not going to take oh, our director, yeah. Sandy Grossman, to Los Angeles for that mutiny. 
We're going to have them go elsewhere. <laughs> I'll pick up on Mr. Instant Replay, Tony Verna. <laughs> <laughs> Newland drops it into the middle to Bradley. That 37 man. seconds, and that Houston was, will be glad to get out of town. That was a very valuable rebound there that Billy Polk just grabbed. That's why he's still a valuable player. So let's make it official right now. Our Chevrolet Most Valuable Player Award goes to Billy Pulse. And Hot Rod Hundley has told you all the reasons why as he steps up to the free throw line. The Chevrolet $1,000 scholarship will be awarded to St. John's on behalf of Billy Paltz, who moved it to 23. And Hot Rod. Wrong camera. As, <laughs> you always like single shots, so you don't like it when they put me in the picture with you. <laughs> All right. Well, the cameraman didn't know that. Well, we had a lot of fun here in San Antonio. Would have been a little bit more fun this afternoon if Houston could have shot a bit better in that first half than the 29%. It's hard to figure in this league. They come off their best game of the season in Landover. But of course, they've stayed on the road. They had snow trouble getting out of New York, getting down to Landover. Perhaps we'll use that as the excuse. At any rate, let's take nothing away from the San Antonio Spurs, on the other hand. They lead the Central Division with this victory. They will have beaten every team in the NBA at least once. They are a loose group. They play awfully well together. They respond to Doug Moe. It's a good franchise down here. They draw a lot of good fans, a lot of enthusiasm in San Antonio. They are a hard club to beat on this floor. Indeed they are. Come on, Jackie. Here's your man. Dale came in underneath on him. There's Dorsey going to the hoop, trying to go up. Mike Gale grabbed him right by the arm for the foul. <laughs> Offensive foul, no basket. Hot Rod, we got eight seconds left. You do the play-by-play, -play, please. I know you want to, always want to do that. Finish All it All right, up. Mike Gale going to Louis Dampier. He'll come down on the right corner. <laughs> Kobe Dietrich knocked <laughs> away. Oh, this isn't a radio game, though. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want, a simulcast? Go ahead, it's yours. Finish it up. 125 to 107. Billy Paltz to Gale. He'll put one up and in. <laughs> Three seconds left. You want to do a little color as Gale seals another one? <laughs> <laughs> it's all over as MVP Billy Paltz leads the victorious San Antonio Spurs off the floor. And they've extended their lead over Houston in the Central Division now to three full games at 37-25 with a 127-107 victory. They beat them by 20 points here.